we're going to work on the splash party number 1017. I'm going to do this with our new color fuse sinks because I've got lots of choices of lights and darks. So we're going to tape down a piece of cardstock and I've got my main panel right over here on this side. We're going to start off with the Sonata, which is the medium blue. No, it's the lightest blue of the blue. We'll put that on the water portion. This is a brand new stamp and it hasn't been conditioned very heavily. So my guess is that we'll probably have to stamp it a couple times because it won't come out real clean the first time. And on the other part, we're going to use rose, which is the lightest of the pinks. Rose is from set five and Sonata was on set eight. And you can see it's a little mottled. So we're going to hit the blue one more time real lightly. And then we're going to use the rose again. And I wouldn't be surprised to see us use the rose a third time because it's very light. Don't need a lot of pressure on this. It either transfers or it doesn't. Yeah, we're going to go one more time on the rose. That should do it. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So now we're going to remove the first stamp and we're going to put the legs in. Take a look at the legs and make sure that the knees are pointing the right way. Put it in. We're going to use Versifying Claire for this. It's a nice um, solvent based pigment pad. If you wanted to emboss it, you could but produces a very clean, fine line. Again, it may look like I'm pressing hard, but I'm not. And we'll clean that off and we'll remove that. <clears throat> now for the beaks. For the beaks, I'm gonna take the pack, the backing that came with the, the stamp set and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna lay that piece of acetate right over the stamp, right over the, the image we've done so far. And I'm gonna tape it down so it doesn't move. And we're gonna use this to practice because there is no way to get this perfectly aligned without a little bit of luck. So if we tape this down and we stamp onto this first, we can actually clean this off and stamp it again and stamp it again. And when we get one that's right, then we'll take it off and stamp it for real. So we get lots of practices because of the misty, because the stamp, the panel underneath is not moving and we're not wrecking our stuff. So that feels about right to me and that comes from experience. And if I'm right, then I'll tell you why. And if I'm not, then I'll just do it again. So we're going to use the Versafine Claire Black again, or the Nocturne is what it's called. Gentle, not to overstamp it. But the Misty keeps you from rocking your stamp, so that helps a lot too. And we got it within 99.2%. I'm just making that up, but it's very close. And I'm going to call it good enough. <clears throat> and if you just play with it a little bit, <clears throat> just like this, you'll see that you can do the same thing. So we're going to stamp it again. We never moved it. So all things being equal, it ought to go right back down where it was. And we should get a finish that's just right. Let's pull our magnets away. Clean up a little bit. And I'll raise this up to the camera so you can see a little bit better. And there it is. Thanks for watching. Thank you.